within about the uh, piston and calibration. So what are all the things, what are all the uh, calibration that we need to do when you are overhauling the uh, piston? So we need to take uh, key clearances when we concerned about your piston rings. One is your uh, axial clearance, clearances and radial clearance and your butt clearance. Apart from these three, you have to check the measure the diameter of your piston. So these are all the four uh, clearance that we need to uh, check when you do the calibration of uh, piston. First, I will take uh, axial clearance. Axial, axial clearance. A reading and B reading. I take the measurement. Actually, whenever you take the measurement, you have to take port, starboard, forward, and aft. Four readings you have to take. Suppose it got uh, one, two, three, four grooves. That means four into four, sixteen readings you have to get for. Uh, for your uh, reference so okay so I use vernier I got a value you can see here 1, 2, 3 3.8 I got a value 3.8 so a value is 3.8 and uh, this is piston ring so I check the height uh, height the height I took the height measurement I got a measurement of So A minus B yeah. A minus B 3.8 minus 3.78 that is 0 0.2 mm. So this is our axial clearance. Understood now? So the height of groove and height of the piston ring ok so we get A reading as 3.8 and B reading as 3.78 and the difference between these two is 0.02 mm so this is you call it as axial clearance so next we come for uh, radial clearance uh, radial clearance A B so what I do is I take the depth uh, depth of this Okay, so the value is nine point three. 9.3 is the value and I take the thickness of piston ring ok you can see the value huh? value is 8.3 8.3 so I minus A minus B 9.3 minus 8.3 so it comes 9.3 minus 8.3 that is 1 mm so radial clearance is 1 mm 
next we go for the butt clearance so butt clearance how we take uh, we take uh, by inserting the piston ring inside the liner okay this is a new liner so i am going to take the butt clearance so what you do is insert piston ring Now the piston ring is inside the liner, so you can see here the gap between this two groove is called as butt clearance. So I can use the vernier. Okay, so you can see the clearance. Eh? Clearance of butt is zero point zero five. So this is uh, how you take the uh, butt clearance. So we have taken axial clearance, radial clearance, butt clearance. So the next thing is you have to check the a yeah, outer dia of the piston so for that you can use uh, uh, outside caliper either you can use outside micrometer also but uh, presently i don't have a micrometer so i use uh, outer caliper so next is we need to take the uh, outside diameter of uh, piston so usually what makers recommend is we have to take the uh, outside diameter in three Three locations like uh, below the from top plant 100 mm and 150 and 240. So, three layer we have to take. You can use this uh, outside uh, caliper, uh, but it is always preferable to use uh, outside uh, micrometer so that will be far better. So, just for information, I say you suppose uh, this is the measurement, just take like this. Yeah, take the measurement and uh, compare it with your scale. So you put uh, this thing into 184.5. Yeah, this uh, the total uh, like uh, the diameter of this is 185. It's better always use uh, outside micrometer because this uh, outer caliper don't give uh, exact value. I will try to show in my next video how to take uh, outside uh, diameter with the uh, help of outside micrometer. Anyway, uh, I believe uh, this video must have given you some information about uh, how to calibrate the piston, what are all the clearance that we need to take uh, when you are overhauling a piston. If you have any doubt, please put in the comment box, definitely I will reply you. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys.